What is up, Bark Life family? You are here with Nathan and Elise. We're working on Silas's go kart. We've taken over my wife's kitchen because I need a shop. But uh, we are souping up the electric go kart because Elise's gas go karts making it look sad, right? Yeah, it's kind of sad. So what we're doing is we're taking a complete pack. We took apart the extra pack we had from the other go kart, stole one of the batteries. Um, I think we're going to end up actually selecting two of these batteries and putting them on top of here. So instead of it being a 48 volt system, what's the math on that bear? Mm -hmm. So we had 48 volts plus 12. 48 plus 12, 60. Okay, plus 12 more. 72. 72. Yeah, buddy. So we're going to go with a 72 volt system. Uh, got the soldering iron all fired up. We already desoldered a few of these. So we're going to add two more batteries for a 72 volt system. Think it's going to keep up with the gas cart? Hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, Silas's cart, we're trying to keep get it to keep up with Elise's because we just switched her to the Predator 224. Anyways, um, we're going to get that swapped and we're going to have Elise be our tester today. So she's going to test both. We're going to do some GPS speeds and see where we end up. All right, so part of what we have to do, so we got this one opened up. So we're going to put this as an external pack on top. So you're going to have this guy on top of it, but we have to keep them in series. So if you put the reds, the red, blah, 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 basically you make a bigger bucket. So that makes it to where you'll still have 12 volts. But if you notice the way they have these wired, they're in series. So in other words, negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive, and then you grab the negative from the main battery and it goes over to the outside out here and then the daisy chain over to the far end over here. So what that does is this battery connected to that battery makes how many volts? 12 plus 12? Okay, plus another 12, 36, and then 48. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect the other end, if that makes sense. So we'll daisy chain to the next one and then we'll pull the, the negative lead off of this one. So this will daisy chain over to the positive side. Boop. So positive side, or wait, yeah, positive side. So negative to positive, and then we'll pull the negative off this side, which will give us 60 volts. And then we'll grab another one of these, same thing, daisy chain, and we'll try to do 72 volts. I think we should try 60 at first though. 70, we'll do that at the end of the video. So make sure and, Keep watching, but we're going to do that at the very end. Um, but yeah, my poor wife's counter. It's always like this, isn't it, Elise? All right. So just to give you a point of reference, this is the way it was originally hooked up. And we got positive on the right, negative. So if you want to zoom in on that, what's our voltage? No, right here. Right over here. Right over here. Sorry, noob. No, over here. Okay. I'm going to noob. What's our voltage? All right, let's try to hold it on there. Okay, so 50, 53, 52, 51. Um, basically, that's the four batteries in series. We'll show you what it looks like after we connect the next battery. All right, so we have our connections made. This is effectively jumped into the series. So now let's see what our voltage is. So 65, 65 volts now. Think it's gonna zip? Yeah, definitely. I think sure. so. Can't wait to test drive it. So we'll see if we blow any fuses, but Bear's gonna go test it now, right? Yes. All right, so we have the new battery installed. We have it kind of strapped in there. We'll see what happens. See if we can't get it to do its thing. All right, here we go. All right. So we have a zero mile per hour deal. We're gonna let her go around a couple laps, try to get top speed.
right guys so she came in at a blazing eight all right guys so with 60 volts we got about 18 miles an hour now we're going to step it up again to 72. what do you think about the 72 volts bear i'm excited to try it yeah buddy should be pretty good All right, guys, we're recording the same app. We're gonna see how fast 72 volts goes. So our speed test yielded only 17. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the go-kart, that, uh, that motor has some kind of cutoff or something because it's the exact same speed at 60 as it is 72 volts. And then you have a gas swap. What's up? Let's see how this does. All right, go ahead, kid. That's uh, so much faster. Holy cow. We're pulling back in the garage. Almost hit your RC car. How was it? You ran over my target. What did it do to you? <laughs> All right, so we had an absolute blast, but that I mean, at least did. Um, so we ended up doing the 60 volts, got 18 miles per hour, upgraded to the 72 volts. You'd think we'd get more speed, right? Yeah. We didn't. We ended up at the same exact darn speed, so 18 miles an hour. I'm guessing the speed control in that electric go-kart has a cutoff and is limiting the voltage to the motor. It's probably got some kind of overload for the motor a safety thing. Um, we did check the voltage at the battery. We checked the voltage on everything, and I, I just don't think it's coming out to the motor. Well, we could test that later, but I think we might be done with the electric motor. We might do the same exact motor swap we already did on Elise's to Silas's, um, which is that Predator 224... Uh, the high performance. It's just a little bit more torque than that 212 motor. Um, just a little better, a couple little part upgrades. But uh, how, what do you think, Barry? Was it fun? Very. So do you like the gas better or electric? Gas hands down. Why? It's so much faster and I like the sound and it just feels more fun too. Cause it's what so if they were the same speed? Would you rather have electric or gas? Just out of curiosity. I like the sound too, like the shakiness of when you're driving <laughs> I didn't prompt this, you guys. I did not prompt this. This isn't... It also can power slide. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Easy on that. Anyways, so there you have it. I think Silas's cart is going gas. We might try a couple more little tricks because I was hoping to push it all the way up to double. So almost 100 volts, which actually with the fact that each battery is 13, not actually 12, it would be a little over 100 volts. Um a lot of the time on electric motors, you, you can double the power. You're, you're definitely on the threshold of doom and death. But we uh, we usually get, like, her power wheels, we <laughs> were getting up to 36 volts before we started blowing motors and transmissions and all kinds of craziness. Mm -hmm. um, and they start off life as 12. So, yeah, three times. Anyways, we did have to put relays in and stuff, but that's not here nor there. Any hoot. We appreciate you guys watching. There's a lot more to come on these go-karts. Also, the Supra, we have new computer for it and a whole slew of parts we're going to install, don't we? Mm -hmm. Are you going to help me? Yeah. Lies? Just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much. And what is the message today, Bear? Make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, buddy. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.